Merhaba arkadaşlar. Welcome back to Learn Turkish Language with Language Animated Channel. We have been learning different things in Turkish language and we already finished 20 lessons. But they are not enough because we have lots of other things to learn. So, I thought I should keep sharing with you guys all those things which will help you to speak Turkish language. So, be happy and keep learning Turkish with me in this channel, Language Animated. So, in this video, we will learn conversation phrases. This is part one. So, let's start the lesson. If you want to ask someone where are you from, there is two ways to ask that. Formal and informal. Another lesson is Nerele siniz. Nerele siniz. It means where are you from, but formal. And the second way of asking this question, which is informal, it's like this. Nerele sin. Nerele sin. It also means where are you from, but informal. Now, when you are learning Turkish language, and maybe you are talking with any Turkish person, they will ask you that, have you been to my country? So in this case, the question will be like this. Ülkeme hiç geldin mi? Ülkeme hiç geldin mi? Ülkeme hiç geldin mi? It means, did you come to my country before? Or, have you been to my country? This is informal way. And, the formal way of this sentence will be Ülkeme hiç geldiniz mi? Ülkeme hiç geldiniz mi? Ülkeme hiç geldiniz mi? The meaning is same. Ülkeme means to my country. Hiç means ever or never. But here it's used as ever. And geldin means you came and me is question suffix when it comes then the sentence becomes question sentence so here geldin me means did you come and here geldiniz me is formal way of asking did you come and i will tell you two answers you can choose whichever you want first is Evet, geldim. Evet, geldim. It means yes, I came or yes, I visited. Evet means yes and geldim means I came. And the second answer is hayır, hiç gelmedim. Hayır, hiç gelmedim. It means no, I didn't come. Hayır means no. Hiç means never or ever. But in this sentence, it is used as never. And gelmedim means I didn't come. Okay? One more sentence, which will make you a lovable person. And it is, Türkiye'yi çok seviyorum. Türkiye'yi çok seviyorum. Türkiye'yi çok seviyorum. It means I love Turkey so much. So, best of luck with these sentences. I hope everything is clear. And if you have any confusion, then feel free to ask me in the comment section. And I will answer you. And wait for the second part of it. If you enjoyed, then like this video and share with others. And subscribe to Language Animated Channel. Thanks for watching. Görüşürüz. Merhaba, hoş geldiniz. Welcome. Nasılsınız? How are you? Umarım iyisiniz. I hope you're fine. In today's video, we will continue the conversation phrases. And this is part two. In this video, we will learn five sentences and we are going to start the lesson now. For example, 
when you are in a city and you are enjoying it, then the people in that city will ask from you like this. What do you think about the city? Or how do you think about the city? So in Turkish they will ask, Şehri nasıl buluyorsunuz? Şehri nasıl buluyorsunuz? Şehri nasıl buluyorsunuz? It means, what do you think about the city? Or, what do you think of the city? This is formal way. And to make this sentence informal, you just need to change the last part of the sentence from buluyorsunuz to buluyorsun. So it becomes informal. And the meaning is same. Şehri means the city. Nasıl means how. And buluyorsunuz means you find or do you find or do you get. But the translation of this sentence will be what do you think of the city or how do you think of the city. And you can answer like this. Çok güzel. Çok güzel. It means very beautiful. Or you can also say çok beğendim. Çok beğendim. Çok beğendim. It means I really liked it. Here çok means very and güzel means beautiful or nice. And beğendim means I liked it. And beğenmek means to like. Now, someone will ask from you in that city or anywhere else that, are you married? So in Turkish, there is two ways of asking this question, formal and informal. So the formal way is, evli misiniz? Evli misiniz? Evli misiniz? It means, are you married? And the informal way of this question is, Evli misin? And the meaning is same. To answer to this question, you can say two things. Bekarım. Bekarım. Bekarım. It means I'm single. Or, Evliyim. Evliyim. Evliyim. It means I'm married. But there are other ways of asking these things. But I think you should learn the most used phrases in Turkish language. Then you will be able to learn slowly when you get used to speak Turkish. Okay? So that's all for today. Enjoy learning Turkish and please like this video if it was helpful and share with others. And subscribe to Language Animated Channel. Görüşürüz. Merhaba friends, welcome back. Hayatınız nasıl? How's your life? Ve Türkçeniz nasıl? How's your Turkish? Umarım iyidir, inşallah. I hope it's good. God wills. So, let's continue the lesson and we will learn something more in this video. Today we will learn how to ask, where are you staying? So, as usual, don't forget the masculine and feminine. So to ask this question, there is formal and informal way. Nerede kalıyorsunuz? Nerede kalıyorsunuz? Nerede kalıyorsunuz? Where are you staying? This is formal. And to make this question informal, you just need to change the last part of the sentence from kalıyorsunuz to kalıyorsun. Nerede means where. Kalıyorsunuz or kalıyorsun means you stay or do you stay. And the word kalmak means to stay. And you can answer like this. For example, first say the name of the place where you stay and then da kalıyorum. Let me give you an example. Fabrikada kalıyorum. Fabrikada Kalıyorum. 
it means I stay at the factory. Fabrika means factory. Fabrikada means at the factory. And uh, kalıyorum means I stay. Now you can change from fabrika to anything else. You can say otelde kalıyorum. Otelde kalıyorum. So remember da or de. Hotel means hotel. De is suffix of hotel. It means in or at or on. So you can say any name of the place where you stay. Okay? So, now people will ask from you about your children. Maybe you are married or you are not. Because in the previous video we have learned how to ask are you married? So, now we will learn how to ask do you have children? For this question we have two ways, formal and informal. Çocuklarınız var mı? Çocuklarınız var mı? Çocuklarınız var mı? It means, do you have children? And to make this informal, you will say, çocukların var mı? Çocukların var mı? And the meaning is same. Çocuklarınız or çocukların means, your children. Var mı means is there or are there. So you can say yes I have or no I don't have. So for this you will say evet var. Evet var. It means yes I have. And if you want to say no I don't have. You can say, hayır, yok. Hayır, yok. Evet means, yes. Var means, there is. Or, there are. And, hayır means, no. Yok means, no or, there isn't. So, that's all. Keep learning Turkish and enjoy my videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Language Animated channel for more useful videos about different languages. Hoşça kalın. Merhaba arkadaşlar. Hey friends. Today we will learn some more phrases about conversation phrases. This is Language Animated channel where you can learn many different languages in a fun way. So, let's start the lesson. In Turkish, when you want to say, what do you do, you will need to say in two ways, formal and informal. The formal way to say, what do you do, is, ne iş yapıyorsunuz? Ne iş yapıyorsunuz? Ne iş yapıyorsunuz? It means, what do you do? To make this sentence informal, you just need to change the last part of this sentence from yapıyorsunuz to yapıyorsun. And the meaning is still same. Ne means what, iş means work, and yapıyorsunuz or yapıyorsun means you do. Ne iş yapıyorsunuz? What do you do? Now, you can answer like this. Emekliyim. Emekliyim. Emekliyim. It means, I am retired. Emekli means retired. And yim is suffix, which means, I am. Or you can also say if you are a student, öğrenciyim. Öğrenciyim. Öğrenciyim. Öğrenciyim. It means I am a student. Öğrenci means student, and yim is suffix. It is like I am. 
Siyahat ediyorum. Siyahat ediyorum. Siyahat ediyorum. It means I am traveling. Siyahat means traveling and ediyorum means I do. Tatil için geldim. Tatil için geldim. Tatil için geldim. It means I'm here on holiday. Or I came for holiday. Tatil means holiday. İçin means for. And geldim means I came. And the last one is iş için geldim. İş için geldim. İş için geldim. It means I'm here on business or also I came for work. İş means work. İçin means for and geldim means I came. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and learned some more useful phrases in Turkish language. If you enjoyed the lesson, then please like this video because I know many people are watching them but they don't give likes. So give like and support my channel and share with others and subscribe to Language Animated channel for more Turkish lessons. Güle güle. Merhaba friends, welcome back. Today we will learn some more useful phrases in order to be able to speak in Turkish language. Today we will learn short phrases. Of course we are already learning short phrases until now, but in today's lesson we will learn the most used and important phrases. So friends watch this video till end and don't skip the video, otherwise you will lose it. And then I cannot help you on that. So take your notebook and be ready and we are gonna start now. So when someone is telling you something and you have to say okay, in Turkish you will say tamam. Tamam. You can use this in many many places like when you are fighting with your brother and sister then you will say tamam with anger but of course fighting with brothers and sisters is a true love between siblings. When someone asks you for help or maybe someone will say to you can you do that? So you will say yes of course. In Turkish you will say tabi ki evet. Tabi ki evet. Tabi ki evet. It means of course yes or yes of course. Only tabi means yes. Like when my friend gets angry to me, then when I ask my friend about something and then my friend says tabi tabi, tabi tabi, it means yes yes. Ki means that, as, or so that. But it comes after some words which is close to the word but. And evet means yes. And the opposite of this sentence is tabi ki. Hayır. Tabii ki hayır. Tabii ki hayır. It means of course not. Here I will tell you hayır means no. And you know the meaning of tabii ki. So you have a funny brother or funny sister. When he or she jokes with you or maybe he or she tries to make fun of you. Or maybe he or she is saying something serious. Then you say you are joking. In Turkish you will say dalga geçiyorsun. Dalga geçiyorsun. Dalga geçiyorsun. It means you are joking. Or you can also say şaka yapıyorsun. Şaka yapıyorsun. It also means you are joking. But these are informal way and if you want to say the formal way of this sentence then it will be like dalga 
geçiyorsunuz. Just you have to change the last part of geçiyorsun to geçiyorsunuz and yapıyorsun to yapıyorsunuz. Both means you are joking and the meaning is same. And here I will add three more sentences related to this sentence and they are dalga geçme. Dalga geçme. It means don't joke. In English you will say differently like it's not funny. In Turkish you will say dalga geçme or şaka yapma. There are other ways to say the same thing but I will just tell you one way right now. In the future videos, you will learn them. Don't worry. So, dalga means wave, which occurs in oceans or sea. Geçme means don't cross. But Turkish people use this expression to tell you don't joke. When you translate word by word, then it means something else. But if you translate the sentence, then the meaning of that is don't make fun of it. So, don't confuse yourself. Şaka yapma or dalga geçme. Both means don't joke. Şaka means joke. Yapma means don't do. Dalga geçiyorsun. Geçiyorsun means you are crossing. You know? And yapıyorsun means you are doing. So, as I told you, there are other ways of saying the same thing, but these are enough because these are the most used expression in Turkish language. So, practice well, okay? That's all for today. I hope these are very helpful. If you enjoyed the lesson, then please like this video and share with others and subscribe to Language Animated channel for more Turkish lessons. Thanks for watching. Görüşürüz. Merhabalar, helloz, nasılsınız arkadaşlar? Umarım iyisinizdir. How are you friends? I hope you're all fine. Today we will learn the last part of the conversation phrases in Turkish language. In this part we will learn how to say how is it going, everything is going well, etc. I don't want to waste your worthy time because many of you guys are famous and popular people and busy with your daily life, business and studies. And you all are not simple living person like me. Anyways, let's start the lesson. So when you meet your friend or maybe anyone, you say, how's it going? In Turkish, you will say, nasıl gidiyor? Nasıl gidiyor? Nasıl gidiyor? It means, how's it going? Nasıl means how. Gidiyor means it is going or just going. So, nasıl gidiyor means how is it going. And you can answer like this. Her şey iyi gidiyor. Her şey iyi gidiyor. Her şey iyi gidiyor. It means everything is going well. And also you can say her şey yolunda. Her şey yolunda. Her şey yolunda. It means everything is going on its way. So, her şey means everything. E means good. And gidiyor means going. And here, yolunda means on its way. Means everything is going well on its way and you can use these with your friends and others so enjoy now if someone asks you about your email address in turkish they will ask like this e posta adresiniz ne e posta adresiniz ne e posta adresiniz ne it means what's your email address Eposta means email. Address means address. Eposta addresses means your email address. Ne means what. And this is formal way. 
To make this informal, you just need to change from addressines to addressin. And the meaning of them is same. And you can answer like this. Eposta, addressin, and your address. Eposta, addressin, and your address, okay? Adresim means my address. Eposta adresim means my email address. Eposta adresim and your address, okay? So, I have given you two questions and two answers and I explained you very well. And don't forget to take notes all the time whenever you watch my videos. So, enjoy learning Turkish with Language Animated Channel. And this was the last part of conversation phrases. If you enjoyed then please like this video and share with others and subscribe to Language Animated channel for more Turkish lessons. Thanks for watching and güle güle. Merhaba arkadaşlar, welcome back. In today's lesson we will learn conversations about sport. In this video, we will learn some useful sentences, which is about football. This is Language Animated Channel, and I'm going to start the lesson now. So, take your notebook and pen, and sit down and relax, and enjoy learning Turkish. For example, when you want to ask, do you like football? In Turkish, you will say like this. Football sever misiniz? Foot Ball sever misiniz? Football sever misiniz? It means do you like football? Football means football. Sever misiniz? Means do you like or do you love? This is formal. And to make this sentence informal, just change from misiniz to misin. And it becomes informal sentence. And the meaning is same. Football sever misiniz? Do you like football? Now, you answer like this, which is easy. Evet, seviyorum. Evet, seviyorum. Evet, seviyorum. It means, yes, I like. Or, yes, I love. Seviyorum also means, I love. You can use it for both. Or you can say Hayır, sevmiyorum. Hayır, sevmiyorum. It means no, I don't like or I don't love. Maybe some of you has allergy with running so he or she will not like football. So stay safe, otherwise running is an amazing exercise. Now when you want to say, what do you support, you are asking about the team in football, right? So in Turkish you will ask like this, Kimi tutuyorsunuz? Kimi tutuyorsunuz? Kimi tutuyorsunuz? It means, what do you support? Kimi means, who? Tutuyorsunuz means, you catch or you take, but it also means support. This is formal. To make this informal, just change from tutuyorsunuz to tutuyorsun. Okay? Now you can say who do you support. To say this in Turkish, you can say like this. I tutuyorum. I tutuyorum. Now you can see it's weird, but don't worry. Look, first you will say the name of the team which you support and then you will add e at the end and then you say tutuyorum so it means i support and the name of the team okay don't worry if you support any of football team and you couldn't make the sentence then you can comment me and ask me and i will make that sentence for you and i always reply you guys very fast faster than your 3g internet Okay? Now, if you have a favorite player and you want to ask this in Turkish, you can ask like this. 
En sevdiğiniz oyuncu kim? En sevdiğiniz oyuncu kim? En sevdiğiniz oyuncu kim? It means who is your favorite player? En means the most. Sevdiğiniz means which you love or like. Oyuncu means player. And kim means who is. This is formal. To make this informal, you just need to change sevdiğiniz to sevdiğin. And the meaning will be same. And you can name your favorite player like this. En sevdiğim oyuncu and the name of the player. En sevdiğim oyuncu and the name of the player. En sevdiğim oyuncu and the name of the player. Okay? So here you can see en means the most. Sevdiğim means which I like. And oyuncu means player. And if you want to say more good things about the player, you can say like this. O muthiş bir oyuncu. O muthiş bir oyuncu. O muthiş bir oyuncu. It means he or she is a great player. O means he or she or also it. Muthiş means terrific, stunning, great. Bir means one. Oyuncu means player. So omutish bir oyuncu means he or she is a great player, stunning player. And the last sentence is the coach is and the name of the coach. In Turkish you will say antrenör and the name of the coach. Antrenör and the name of the coach. It means the coach is and the name okay so this video became too long i hope you are not angry to me if you are angry then drink some cold water and take some deep breath and try to relax without punching me on my face because if you punch me on my face then my face will become ugly and my eyes will not be able to see for some days and then i will not be able to make videos so don't be angry and don't punch me, okay? If you enjoyed the lesson, then please like this video because it will motivate me to make more Turkish lessons. But if you don't like it, then I will think that you don't want to learn Turkish anymore. Then I maybe stop making Turkish lessons, okay? And share with others. And subscribe to Language Animated Channel for more Turkish lessons like this because they are all free. And subscribing is also free. Don't worry. Thanks for watching. And güle güle. Selam. How are you friends? I hope you are all doing well. In this video we will learn conversation about weather and Turkish language. So take your notebook and pen. And we are going to start the lesson now. In Turkish, if you want to say, what's the weather like? In Turkish, you will say, Hava nasıl? Hava nasıl? It means, what's the weather like? Hava means weather and nasıl means how. So it's different than English language. So don't be confused. Or if the weather is rainy, you can ask like this. Yağmur yağacak mı? Yağmur yağacak mı? Yağmur yağacak mı? It means, is it going to rain? Yağmur means rain. Yağacak means will rain. And mı is a suffix of yağacak. Yağacak mı means Will it rain? And if you want to answer, you can answer like this. I will give you a few answers which you can learn. Hava sıcak. 
hawa sajak it means it's hot or the weather is hot sajak means hot hawa soak hawa soak it means it's cold or the weather is cold soak means cold hava güzel hava güzel hava güzel it means it's nice or beautiful or the weather is nice or beautiful hava buz gibi hava buz gibi hava buz gibi it means it's freezing or the weather is freezing buz gibi means it's like ice buz means ice hava rüzgarlı hava rüzgarlı hava rüzgarlı it means it's windy rüzgarlı means windy and the last one is hava yağmurlu hava yağmurlu hava yağmurlu it means it's rainy or the weather is rainy yağmurlu means rainy so that's all for today you have learned something about the weather and if you want to learn more then subscribe to language animated channel and also like this video and share with others thanks for watching görüşürüz merhaba dostlar welcome back to another turkish lesson with language animated channel in this video we will learn some information about direction phrases Direction phrases are those phrases which we need them when we want to get to somewhere but we don't know how to get there and we ask from another person like where is the Taj Mahal located or where is Burj Khalifa. So we will learn how to ask directions in Turkish language. Let's get started. To ask where is somewhere located, you can say Taj Mahal Nerada. Taj Mahal Nerada. Taj Mahal Nerada. It means where is Taj Mahal. I used Taj Mahal instead of any other famous place in Turkey. It's just random name came to my mind. Now, in Turkish it's easy. Just say the name of the place first, then say Nerada. It's that easy. Nerada means where is. Or you can say the plural form of this question. Just name the places and then say Nerada. It doesn't change. And you can use this question with anything like where is my book, where is my friend, where is my phone. For that you will just need to say the name first, then say Nerada. And I hope you got the idea of how to use this. Now, someone told you the direction and you want to ask, can I walk there? In Turkish, you will say, Oraya yürüyebilir miyim? Oraya yürüyebilir miyim? Oraya yürüyebilir miyim? It means, can I walk there? Oraya means, to there. Yürüyebilir miyim means can I walk and yürümek means to walk. So don't confuse yourself. It's a matter of grammar and I will explain these kinds of things in my grammar classes. Don't worry. Then he or she will answer yes you can walk or no you cannot walk. In Turkish it will be like this. Evet, yürüyebilirsiniz. Evet, yürüyebilirsiniz. Evet, yürüyebilirsiniz. It means yes, you can walk. 
Or, hayır, çok uzak, yürüyemezsiniz. Hayır, çok uzak, yürüyemezsiniz. Hayır, çok uzak, yürüyemezsiniz. It means, no, it's too far, you cannot walk. So, evet means, yes. Yürüyebilirsiniz means, you can walk. Hayır means no. Çok means very. Uzak means far. Yürüyemezsiniz means you cannot walk. And if you want to ask about is there a bus? In Turkish you can say otobüs var mı? Otobüs var mı? Otobüs var mı? It means, is there a bus? Otobüs means bus. Var means there is. And mı is the question suffix. Var mı means, is there? And the answer can be, evet var. Evet var. It means, Yes, there is. Or, hayır yok. Hayır yok. It means, no, there is not. That's all for today. The video will get long and boring if I continue. We will make several parts of directions. Keep watching Turkish lessons with language animated channel. And if you enjoyed then, like this video and share with others. And also subscribe to Language Animated channel for more Turkish lessons. Thanks for watching. Hey friends, hoş geldiniz. This is the second part of direction phrases in Turkish language. Today we will learn more phrases in order to learn how to communicate while we are traveling. So, let's start. So you are going somewhere and you want to ask is there a train? In Turkish you'll ask Tren var mı? Tren var mı? It means Is there a train? Tren means train And var mı means Is there? Now the answer can be Evet var Evet var Means Yes there is Or Hayır yok. Hayır yok. And the meaning is, no, there isn't. Now ask, is it far? In Turkish, you will ask like this. Uzak mı? Uzak mı? It means, is it far? And the answer can be, evet. Uzak. Evet, uzak. It means, yes, it's far. Or, hayır, yakın. Hayır, yakın. It means, no, it's near. And if you have map and you want to ask that, can you show me on the map? In Turkish, you can ask like this. Haritada gösterebilir misin? Haritada gösterebilir misin? It means, can you show me on the map? This is informal. And to make it formal, all you need to do is just change from misin to misiniz. Then he or she will show you on the map if he or she knows it. Okay? Harita means map. Haritada means on the map. Gösterebilir misiniz means can you show? Göstermek means to show. And the last sentence in this lesson is when you want to ask about something nearby, in Turkish you will ask like this. Yakında, the name of the place which you want to ask. And then, var mı? Yakında, var mı? It means, 
Is there a nearby? Yakında means nearby. Var mı means is there? For example, yakında otel var mı? Yakında otel var mı? It means is there a hotel nearby? So like this you can ask about any place which you want to ask. Okay? So that's all for today. I hope it was helpful and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Language Animated channel for more Turkish lessons. Thanks for watching. Güle güle. Merhaba arkadaşlar. Today we will learn the last part of direction phrases. These are simple phrases. These are not questions. Before we start, be sure that you subscribe to Language Animated channel and click the bell icon so that you will get notification about every new lesson which I upload in this channel. And it's all free. Don't worry. So, let's start the lesson. So, someone was explaining you the direction and he or she is saying, Turn left. In Turkish, it's like this. Sola dönün. Sola dönün. Sola dönün. It means turn left. It's formal. And to make it informal, you will just change from dönün to dön. Sol means left. Sola means to left. Dönün or dön means turn. And if you want to say turn right, in Turkish it's like this. Sağa dönün. Sağa dönün. It means turn right. Sağa means to right. Sağa means right. And dön or dönün means turn. And if you want to say here or there, in Turkish you will say burada. Burada. Burada means here. And if you want to say there, you can say orada. Orada. It means there. And there are two different words look like same. For example, Buraya and oraya. Buraya means to here and oraya means to there. Now, when you ask about some place or something from someone and he or she will say on the right hand side or on the left hand side. So in Turkish you can say like this. Sağ tarafta. Sağ tarafta. Sağ tarafta. It means on the right hand side. Sağ means right. And tarafta means at the side. And the other sentence is sol tarafta. Sol tarafta. It means at the left hand side. Sol means left and tarafta means at the side. So, my smart friends, that's all for today. These were small and simple phrases. That's why I didn't want to make it two parts video. So, enjoy learning Turkish with Language Animated Channel. If you enjoyed the lesson, then like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. İzlediğiniz için teşekkür ederim.